In this video I'm going to explain how to use the makeLine function and how it works and also a repeat string function. These are bash functions that I've just generated to make quick ASCII art which can be useful for interactive usage or even in scripts. So if I just run makeLine without any arguments at all it just generates a you know kind of a line of hash characters across the screen. It's set up so that it'll actually default to um, make the line according to how wide your terminal is. So if I adjust it back and forth, it, it adjusts accordingly. So looking at the definition of make line here, it's just a printf function that makes a set of you know hashes as wide as well a set of spaces actually as wide as your screen and then the tr command replaces those spaces with whatever uh, character you choose or it defaults to the ha um, hash character so this percent s is actually uh, we give it a width for the field so the way printf works is we can give Width, widths for fields. Uh, if you're familiar with programming and using printf, you're probably familiar with this, but if you're not, it might be a little bit strange. Um, so let's say I have a 10 character field for a string. That's what the S stands for. And I'll have another one. So if I give it foo and bar, you'll see that it spaces these out so it and it right aligns them into columns and you know if you run this multiple times with different arguments you'll see it it right aligns them but it keeps them lined up so this is how printf can um, is used typically So we default the first argument to either be what you specify or uh, what are the columns is set to. And the second argument can be set to. So I can say something like make line 40 and I'll just make a, a 40 uh, width line. I can change the second argument to be an equal sign or an underscore or something like that. So this can be useful when um, maybe you want to separate off, you know, uh, sets of information like if you have df make line and then free and then ps I can put make line in there so now you can go back and you can see where there's a you know a division between the data it might be useful another way you can use it is uh, if you want to make you know quick graphs there's other ways to make graphs but this is you know one way so if I get the first column of, of uh, data which is the users from PS you know I, I get this I sort it and I get the uh, counts for each user I could do something like pipe, pipe this into a while read and then read in those values into a variable so the first column is the count the second column is the user and then I can do um, I can do an R printf and say probably I don't know eight eight wide for the user and we'll give it three wide for the number and then we'll give it a uh, a value so I don't know eleven how wide is my terminal so it's a hundred so make it 89 you don't have to do that you could just say s and, but the thing is is if you do that then it might wrap around so we'll put the user in that column and the count in that column and then here we'll take the output of make line and the count and put into the third column oh, right I have to put a new line after each line and all right <laughs> I forgot to take into account these extra spaces so I need to make this like 87 
and I also need to left align it and that's how you do that you put a negative sign to show that it's left aligned so that makes this nice little graph and it's possible through using make line the another way you know you might see people doing this with a for loop or something um, but if you have a function like make line it just makes it quicker if you want to make a graph really quick for uh, for whatever reason another um, Another useful command like this is repeat string. And if you've ever used Perl, you might be familiar with the uh, the repeat operator, which lets you um, lets you repeat a string multiple times, which can be useful. So in in Perl, you have something like this, where you take a string, and then this x means repeat the string, and then you give it a number of times. So, you know, if I hit enter, it repeats foo three times. You can, you know, anything that's in the space, um, or any uh, anything that's in the string can be repeated. So that can be useful. The make line can be, you know, used to make graphics that are one character wide if I uh, because because it uses the translate function or translate command it's not going to work if I um, you know use something else it's just going to end up using the first character because of the way translate works so this repeat string will take the uh, will take the well it will take the first argument and replace the number of spaces that are put into the uh, the string that number of times so you would say something like um, okay maybe I want to put a new line after this So, you know, that can be useful in some cases. Again, these are mostly so that you can define them and then you can use them in loops or, you know, quickly and you don't have to write some kind of for loop to do the same thing. Um, so hopefully you'll see, uh, op you know, possibilities here and you might find uh, new ways to use functions and how the printf function works, uh, printf command works. Okay.